Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. The game is fast approaching for those of you guys that want to get your shooting, your looting and your magical fix and also maybe a bit of D&D for healthy measure, then uh, the game is definitely something to look forward to. I personally have been looking forward to this one. Obviously, uh, you know, I spend a load of time playing Borderlands 3, and while some people may just describe this as D&D Borderlands, I feel like it still has the potential to be a fun adventure. And today I want to talk about the classes because they did, of course, speak about a couple of new classes. So I thought we'd do a quick class recap for those of you guys maybe that haven't been paying too much attention to the game and want to get a feel for what you have to look forward to so far. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are looking forward to this. Is this a game you're going to be playing? Is it a game you want to see on the channel? Let me know. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our future content. So to begin with, let's start with the ones they spoke about more recently, the newer ones. First up, we have the Spell Shot. This is your Mage class, your ranged attacker. Basically, for those of you guys that want to stand further away and just rain down magical hell, Spell Shots are described as gun-toting wizards who can unleash a constant barrage of spells and bullets and also transform their enemies into harmless livestock with the snap of a finger, which is actually incredibly cool, taking something that is basically just big and threatening and just being like, ha ha, now you are a skeep. Apparently that's what it's called in the game. Whether they are slinging spells or shooting shells, spell shots know that in the Wonderlands, an adventurer survives by force of arms and arcana. So while others may view their guns as mere weapons, the spell shot has trained rigorously until it becomes an extension of their own magical will, weaving gun and grimoire together to enhance their spells and imbue their weapons. You have some sort of fun magical abilities on both hands, mixing fire, ice, and I imagine plenty of other elements. This is definitely an exciting combo. They said that spell shots are all about combining spells with your guns. So you're able to equip two spells and your spell weaving ability increases spell damage and fire rate as you cast spells or reload. This allows them to seamlessly cycle between different methods of dealing damage. And when enemies get too rowdy, again, their polymorph can take them out of the fight by transforming them into harmless skeeps. Moving on from there, we then have the Clawbringer. This is basically my class, all right? I said this before with the Berserker, but you know what? Then they revealed the Clawbringer. Ooh, this is me. Basically, big ass hammer, AOE maneuvers. Works like Mjolnir, of course, Thor's famous hammer, or Kratos' Leviathan Axe in God of War. Basically, you just throw this forward. It deals a bunch of damage, you bring it back to you, and you can just smash things with the hammer. Look, right, in any of these games, I'm not one to shoot. I mean, obviously you have to in Borderlands, but if I can wield a mighty hammer, I'm gonna do that. They are described as faithful warriors who bring down thunder and flames upon their enemies with a spectral hammer alongside their fire-breathing wyvern companion. You even have a companion dragon which is hella cool, or wyvern, sorry, to be precise. This class focuses on fire and lightning damage. Clawbringer's Dragon Aura empowers their whole party with additional fire damage and more. They can also throw their special hammer at enemies to deal lightning damage or slam it down on the ground to create a massive fire nova. Their trusty wyvern companion flies at their side, breathing fire upon their enemies and raking them with razor sharp claws. Now, of course, outside of that, we have the ones we spoke about before, but as a quick recap, the Berserker, they are tenacious, frost-infused bruisers who complement their firepower with an onslaught of brutal, up-close and personal melee attacks. When confronted with a problem, their instinct is to turn into a popsicle and punch their way to the solution. Berserkers are specialists of both melee and frost damage. Their otherworldly powers allow them to become enraged via their action skill, channel the power of frost through weaponry so that they can freeze and shatter their enemies, and manifest an arsenal of raw, destructive power. Power. They're even able to channel their bloodthirst by leeching life from fallen foes using a dash of occult magic. So that actually sounds pretty cool. That of course was the one that I originally thought I was going to gravitate towards until they told me I could wield a giant hammer. And then finally, at least so far, there is the Stabamancer, the sneaky crit hit focused assassins who summon magic whirling blades to the battlefield and disappear into the shadows at will. This class specializes in critical hits and status effects. They're able to keep enemies guessing by alternating between guns, melee weapons and spells, all while moving in and out of stealth to score guaranteed critical hits. So while they are fragile, the Stabamancer can use their superior speed to evade damage and fire their guns whilst sprinting. So definitely more uh, one for the rogue players out there. Now keep in mind, these are of course the classes they've revealed so far. On the official website, they did say there are more coming soon so uh, as and when we do find out more information i'll be sure to keep you guys posted but for the time being let me know in the comments down below from the four they've spoken about so far which class are you gravitating towards and again let us know if you guys are excited for this game and you want to see more content on the channel let us know what you want to know about the game and of course we will keep you posted Thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to catch more from us, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our latest uploads. And if you want somewhere to hang out, play games, or chat all things from games to anime, food to fitness, consider joining the Arix Gaming Discord.